Hello and welcome. Neil Lance here from Tykes TV. Hope we're all well. Again, over a disappointing weekend, but we move on to the pitch trophy for Papa John's, Doncaster Rovers. I'm going to come up with my predicted starting 11. I think it's fair to say there's going to be a fair few changes. Some enforced, um, you know, due to injuries and that. But again, I put together a, a, an 11, what I think should be moving capable of again a game. Let me know your thoughts. And um, so here we go. Barnsley, Doncaster. It's 7 pm kickoff, by the way, at uh, Doncaster Rovers. So it's 7 pm kickoff. Jack Walton. I don't think he's going to risk out. For me, he hadn't done out wrong when he stepped in for Brad Collins when he was injured. Uh, so for me, I said Jack Walton. Right wing back, I'm going to say Tom Edwards. I think it's his time to try and stake a claim for this team. You know, he came on for Williams and it looked a bit more livelier, it looked a bit more aware, and linking up. You know, he's long throws as well, and he? he's got them. Central defence is going to be a bit of a, a, a debate, a bit of a, a thought about it. Jasper Moon, Jason Stra, and young Daniel Benson. I know it's an inexperienced back three as such. Um, you go back to Jasper Moon, yeah, he's had some first team action. Not a, looked ideal at times. Jason Stra, a tall unit. Uh, had a few decent games when he came in at the end of the season with Devaney and young Danny Benson. Again, the only reason I'm going for them is that when you look at the other options, Conor McCarthy, he'd been playing via through trophy, obviously out injured. When you look at that, we'll be wanting to risk such as Kitchen, Mads and Cundy, knowing that if they pick up some kind of niggle or injury in a game like this, it's going to rule them out for a Bolton game. Or if thoughts are you're going to be playing Tom Edwards at right wing back for the Bolton game, then you possibly could have Jordan Williams in centre of defence for the game against Doncaster Rovers. I think Williams didn't have one of his, well, none of the team had a great game, but I think Williams were found wanting. So would this be a game that you put Jordan Williams in centre defence and place him in one of these three, knowing that he's not going to be in starting 11 against Bolton? And left wing back, Leresh. Zaid Leresh. Bit of thought about this, whether it's going to be uh, Leresh or Cadden, but I thought Laresh again, a game that he can stake a claim. He scored that wonder goal in uh, against Newcastle uh, development side in uh, last round. So for me, from back of that, he got involved in, he got named in uh, first team squad. So again, if you're impressed in these kind of games, there's, there's an opportunity, there's a window here to be involved in first team. So that's my more or less wing backs and you know defense you know right wing backs sorted out I'd like to know your thoughts on that because there's a few players come in again Conor McCarthy probably go into that more injuries midfield will on the mark can see him as like a, a ball sitting midfielder Adam Phillips again Came on as a sub, didn't do out wrong. He sent to grasp it and be involved more in the game than some others were that weekend. And Josh Martin. A few people have not been impressed with Josh. Uh, to be fair, I don't think he's been getting enough time. He's been in and out in it as a bit part as subs. But again, we looked on being out for quite a while. There's a there's a position there that needs to be filled and 
Swanee step up to Mark. Whether it could be Benson, it could be Martin, it could be Aitchison. If I'm being honest, I was slightly disappointed with Aitchison because I know he played in that position at Forest Green Rovers and got some good reviews. But when he was via for Barnsley, you know, at weekend, he not just him though, but it just looked hard in it. So that's my kind of midfield I'm going for. Warren DeMarc, Adam Phillips and Josh Martin. You're gonna you probably have like such you know some young as in like uh, Lancaster and that they might be on bench they might start. But I think with that many changes at back, you don't want to make wholesale changes as much as you can. Up front. I'm going for Jack Butterfield. I like this kid. I know jallo has been starting and he's a young kid, he's still learning. A frustrating thing about it for me, getting caught offside a lot. Yeah, he's a young kid, he's 16. 16, 17, young kid. But Jack Butterfield, he came on. He had rave reviews at Leicester City in, you know, their set up. But I've seen him in under 23 and reports I've read about him for us. Again, reviews. I just like the player. I think he's tricky. I think he's nimble. And takes his chances, finishes well. No hesitation. I'd like to see him being get a chance. Jack Butterfield. And partner in crime, Ted Itch. Again, another another game that he can, you know, try and get some more minutes under his belt. Put his send up there, try and not just knock on the door off his team, but like kick the door in and, you know, show an intent. I think he just needs a few goals, get some kind of confidence going. A bit like Devante Cole in first team. A few goal, you know, get them goals going, confidence, a little bit of confidence. Whether that happens, again, I'm, I'm going on this because you look at the first team and games are coming up, Bolton away and then Markham away. If you look at his forward line, you've got Cole, Aitchison and Norwood. Any of them pick up any knocks in this this kind of game at Cup, it's going to affect it in the league. Aidan Marsh out on loan, picks up a knock. Ackroyd, you know, Ray reviews said a very good game at weekend for Geisley. It possibly be in contention with midfield here. But again, when he comes back, I cried. It's another knock on door to Gaffer. Look, I'm here. This is what I've done. And not just knock on door, but boot door in and say, look, I'm good enough like now. I step up. And I think that's what Duff, Pats and Devane will be looking for, is the response in players. So, like I said, that's my... That's my starting eleven or predicted starting eleven. Sorry, few few names there you might agree or disagree on, or you know you might have like, not be a million miles away from it. You know he could be going Jamie Sill at, at in goal rather than Walton, but for me, that's what I'd be going for. As regards to the performance, I'm looking for. A togetherness, which I think we will be in this, you know, we players what's coming here. Score prediction. It's going to be a tough one. I know we're taking quite a few, to be fair, even though it's uh, Papa John's. We are taking quite a few, which is good. It's like a local in it, it's Yorkshire local derby. I could see this, I don't know why, but I could see this going to a, a draw for 90 minutes and possibly penalties. I hope we can do it in 90 minutes. Again, the longer the game goes on, the more chance you've got fatigue and that's the thing for players. I would say, I would take. 2-1 Barnsley now. But again, depending what kind of team Doncaster puts out, 
But I would take two on Barnsley, but quite easily, depending if there's been a lot more change than what I predicted, I could see it being a draw and going to penalties, which would be interesting to see what happens on penalties. Again, you might agree, disagree. Let me let me know your thoughts and comments in you know in comments below. Please like, subscribe, and share. I know you always do. So, uh, subscriber base is going up over nine thousand. Doncaster Rovers against Barnsley. Have your say in comments below. Score prediction as well. That'd be interesting. Will it be settled in ninety minutes, or will it be end up on penalties? And. What do you think about my predicted starting 11? If you're going tomorrow, safe journey, safe travels. If I see you via, I'll have a car, I'll have a natter, have a drink. One thing left to say, you reds.